It has been an absolutely crazy week for electric pickup trucks. Just this week, Tesla rolled off its first Cybertruck off the production line. And as Tesla goes back and refines and makes changes to that production line, we are coming closer and closer by the day to Tesla starting to deliver the Cybertruck to customers. And on top of that exciting news, Ford did just lower the price of the F-150 Lightning by $10,000 in response to this news over the weekend from Tesla. And although this is great news for consumers, there's a lot happening. On top of all of that, we are getting a final look at what the production version of the Cybertruck is going to be looking like and what kind of features it's going to have. In addition, there have been some leaks about what the range of the launch edition of the Cybertruck will be. We're going to talk about all that in today's video, so make sure you stick around to the end. And if this is your first time here or you continue to come back, make sure you hit that subscribe button. The reason why this $10,000 price reduction at Ford is such a big deal is because Shortly after it was reported, Elon Musk did tweet a response to this saying, the F-150 is a great vehicle, however, it's still too expensive. And this is after that $10,000 reduction. So keep that in mind because we can use this as a baseline to kind of figure out potentially where we think the Cybertruck is going to be priced. When the Cybertruck originally launched, it came in three configurations. The single motor came with 250 plus miles and came in at 39,900. The dual motor bumped you to 300 plus miles and came in at 49,900. And then finally, there was this tri motor with 500 plus miles and 69,900. Since then, it's been upgraded to a quad motor, but it still remains at that 500 plus miles range. And that has been the headline news for all this time. And everybody has been focused on this. 500 mile range so we're going to talk about that after we talk about these features so stick around here for a moment here are the things that we believe are going to be in this final production version of the Cybertruck it is indeed going to highlight this new 1000 volt architecture which is fantastic news much like the Tesla Semi the Cybertruck is believed to be able to charge at a megawatt charge rate which is crazy even at a one megawatt charge rate, it probably won't sit at that rate very long, but being able to actually do that is pretty incredible. And seeing these V4 chargers pop up around the world, we can see on the data tags, they do say 1000 volt capacity. At that 1000 volts, if you include the 600 plus amps of power output, that puts you at about a 600 plus kilowatt charge rate, which is pretty intense. That is very, very fast. These new charge rates are accommodated with a new charging infrastructure that is going to include cables that are still very relatively small, and it's going to be done with some pretty advanced cooling. So this next level, next generation of charging, next generation of battery packs, this is going to change the game. To complement that 1000 volt architecture, Tesla has made the Cybertruck the first consumer grade vehicle that is going to come with 48 volt as well. No longer are we going to be having a 12 volt system and the reason is the 12 volt system requires a pretty thick cable and it is not consistent with other cables in the car. So 48 volts, we're gonna be able to eliminate a ton of cable, removing weight, removing cost in the vehicle. This is going to be a huge shift and the rest of the industry is very likely to follow because there's a lot of cost savings involved and they're either gonna to have to eat that in the form of their profits or they're going to have to get on board and pass these savings on to consumers. Recently, somebody was sitting inside of the Cybertruck and was taking some pictures and we could see very clearly there are perforated seats in the Cybertruck, which suggests it very likely has cooled seats, which is fantastic. Cooled seats come in the Model S and the Model X only, at least for now. And that is a very nice feature to have. We also see in the back of the Cybertruck, the rear seats do fold up. And this allows you to have more storage space if you don't need those seats or to just bring a really large dog with you. And while we're talking about cargo space, the frunk is now officially confirmed to have a very similar style to the F-150 Lightning. And is going to open up in a very similar fashion and have that same kind of feel when you put stuff in there. And there's one more space of cargo and that is in the bed of the truck. Underneath it, there's another compartment for additional storage space. Interestingly enough, the Cybertruck is the first production car from Tesla that is going to have a camera in the front, all the way at the bottom near the bumper. Now this could be a part of the full self-driving suite or it could just be used 
for clearance views or for a 360 view. We don't really know exactly the full purpose of this camera, which is going to be nice to have, especially if you can access it from the screen in the car. And speaking of screen, in the rear of the Cybertruck, there is indeed a screen in the back. This screen has been seen in the refresh Model S and Model X and allows you to do a number of things, including controlling the climate, watching videos. There's a lot of things that you can do on the screen and it is indeed going to be housed in the Cybertruck as well. Over on some of the things that are a little bit disappointing that we now know it is not going to come with the 60 configuration that we originally saw when the Cybertruck was announced. There is no longer space for that sixth seat, and this likely has a lot to do with the efforts put together to reduce the size of the Cybertruck recently. So unfortunately, no sixth seat, which is a big bummer for a lot of people. Additionally, another thing that people were very excited about seeing was this mid-gate option. After seeing some of these new pictures from the production line, it does not appear that that mid-gate did make it into the final production version of the Cybertruck. Of course, this is disappointing, a little bit unfortunate, but perhaps in a future version of the Cybertruck that Midgate could make an appearance. There's also been a lot of talk about this rear window. Does it roll up? Does it roll down? Or is it a fixed window? And it's still unclear at this time if it does operate in that manner or not. Now, if it does open and you can leave the vault closed, that does give you the ability to have some level of access to the climate in the truck while being in the bed of the truck and having that vault closed. So maybe camp mode could actually be done if that window does open. And now on to the bigger news here, and that is the leaked information that shows us what we should expect to see the range of the Cybertruck at this launch edition. The launch version of the Cybertruck is probably going to be the dual motor version. And this is going to come with what is anticipated to be 350 miles of range. Now it could be a quad motor, but it's most likely the dual motor. And the reason for this is Tesla has not advanced the 4680 battery cells to where they need to be to accommodate what they planned for that 500 mile Cybertruck. Over on the semi, they actually used 2170 batteries to be able to get that 500 miles. And that too was supposed to use 4680s. We are probably a couple years away from even seeing this 500 mile Cybertruck. And the reason is that 4680 battery cell. If we look over at the Model Y, the all wheel drive versus the long range, we have a pretty good feel for what the performance on these 4680 battery cells are to date. And it's nowhere near what was promised during battery day a couple years ago. Let me show you what I mean. The Model Y all-wheel drive comes with 279 miles of range versus 330 in the long range. It also has a curb weight slightly less at 110 pounds lighter, but it also comes with a smaller battery pack. So the smaller battery pack at 71 and a half kilowatt hours with 67 and a half usable compared to 82 kilowatt hours with 76 kilowatt hours usable. Now, if we look at the rated range on the all-wheel drive Model Y, that compared to the size of the usable battery pack, we come out with 4.13 miles per kilowatt hour. If we do the same equation over on the long range, we come to 4.34 miles per kilowatt hour. And what this tells us is that the 2170 is still more energy dense than the existing 4680 battery cells. So the 4680s are nowhere near where they were expected to be at this point in time, which again further supports why the 500 mile Cybertruck is not coming anytime soon. One of the things that's really interesting is if you look at the weight of just the cells themselves, the 2170 batteries would come in at 662 pounds. Again, just for the cells, there are 4,416 of them. Over on the 4680s, there's 828 of them in the pack and that comes in at 648 pounds. So there's 14 pounds difference here. And that 14 pounds gets you 12.8% less battery than that weight. So 2% weight reduction gives you 12.8% less capacity in that battery. So again, further evidence that the 4680s are nowhere near where they were anticipated to be. So with all of that, what do we think the Cybertruck price is going to be? Well, nobody has come forward with that information at this point, so nobody knows for sure. But I think that there's some clues that we have to use to kind of guide us and get a picture of what we think it might be. And based on the tweet from Elon Musk in response to the F-150 $10,000 price reduction, 
think we have an idea of it's going to be lower than that. So looking at the market, the F-150 Lightning, the 320 mile version comes in at 69,995. The Rivian with 350 miles of range, $79,000. Looking at prices at the time that it was announced and prices of the Y and the three cents then, they've gone up and they've come down. They're very similar actually to the original prices that they launched at. So it's possible that the Cybertruck could be launched at the announced prices, but I think it's unlikely. On the worst case, I truly think at the most, the dual motor Cybertruck would come in at $59,900 or a $10,000 increase over the announced prices. Now, I'm not saying that's what it's going to be, but it's very possible. The point of all of this is the launch edition of the Cybertruck is most likely to be 350 miles in range, a dual motor, and be priced between $50,000 and $60,000. So I'm trying to set expectations because that 500 mile range Cybertruck that we've all talked about all this time is likely not coming for quite some time. And that is very disappointing for those of us who plan on using it for towing, but for urban dwellers who have no plans of towing anything, 350 miles is going to be ample range for a pickup truck. So let me know in the comments what you think the launch edition is going to look like. What's the range going to be? What's the price going to be? Let me know in the comments. I do hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, of course, give it the thumbs up. If you haven't already, of course, subscribe to the channel as we continue to post content regularly. You can follow us on Twitter and Instagram at Bearded Tesla. Thanks so much for joining us. We'll catch you next time.